Hi, I just wanted to show you guys how to fill out this um, pre-lab for the lab um, ion experiment that we're going to be doing. Um, so the first thing I want to tell you is that when atoms form ions, this group one, um, they all end in S1, um, so they will be um, forming a plus one ion when they give away that one electron to achieve an octet. This group is going to be plus two. We skip the transition metals because they don't just all have a certain charge in a certain group. Um, but then we get over here, and if it's going to form an ion in this group, it's plus three. This group here, we're going to skip because it can do a lot of different things. Um, but then we get here, and these are going to gain three electrons and become negative three, negative two, and negative one. And again, we ignore the noble gases because they are not going to form ions. So then we get to the lab, um, the pre-lab assignment, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to literally mix these chemicals together. But before we do that, when the ions are in water, like for this nickel chloride, um, the ions are literally released. So I'm going to kind of take apart these compounds. So notice that I'm not bringing the subscript with for the chloride. Here, I'm not bringing that subscript with with the sodium, but I am going to bring it with here because that's sulfate. And that's a polyatomic ion. So I don't want to change the coefish, the subscripts on polyatomic ions. So here we have barium. Here we have hydroxide. And then we get over here and we do similarly. Plus two, chlorides minus. Plus. Minus two plus minus one and then so now that I have this filled out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um I'm gonna highlight the cation here and I'm gonna cross it with this anion over here. So what I mean is in this box here, um, the barium and the chloride are going to go together. So that would be BaCl2 because this is plus two minus one. So I can do crisscross um, or I can just think I want to have the charges add up to zero. Um, then here I'm going to put sodium with uh, the chloride also. So the formula would be NaCl. Here I'm going to have um, again sodium with that chloride. And then in this box I'm going to have barium with chloride again. Um, so if I go down here now I'm going to have the sodium here, this sodium with this chloride again. Here I'm going to have sodium with chloride. And then here I'm going to have barium with chloride. So it's somewhat a little bit repetitive, but you'll see. Um, then lastly, if I go here, I'm going to have sodium which is plus one with the sulfate, minus two. So I would need to have two sodiums for every one sulfate. Here I'm going to have the barium with the sulfate. Barium is plus two, sulfate's minus two. Sometimes we crisscross, but we don't need to because they already add to zero. So the formula would be BASO4. And then we get down here. <clears throat> I'm going to put the barium with the hydroxide. I need to have two of these because they're minus one for every one of the bariums. Um, now I'm going to highlight the other, whoops, I want to use a different color. So I'm going to put these anions 
with these cations. And I'm going to write in a different color. You can hear my dog. So here I'm going to put the nickel with the chloride. Nickel is plus two, chloride's minus one, so I need to have two. Here I'm going to put nickel with sulfate. This is another one of those where nickel is plus two, sulfate's minus two, so I just need one of each. Here I've got nickel with hydroxide. I need two of these to make the charge add up to zero. Here I have nickel and hydroxide again. Um, here I'm going to put barium with the sulfate. Here I'm putting barium with hydroxide. And here is again barium with hydroxide. Um, here we're going to put the sodium with the hydroxide. And this is also going to be sodium hydroxide. And then down here we're going to have, again, sodium hydroxide. 